Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good Tuesday morning. It's Tea Tuesday, and I'm drinking coffee. So all you tea totalers out there, happy Tea Tuesday. I have a new project. I normally do not make ephemera prior to getting the book together. For some reason, this shabby book, I'm having so much fun with the ephemera, I'm just going to keep at it. So today I am making, uh, you might want to call them belly bands, but you might be premature because I don't know that you'd have to use it as a belly band. You could use it as an edge. You could use it on the cover, but that's what I'm making. Let's see. Oh, let's light a candle for Ukraine. I appreciate you all that are lighting candles for Ukraine, and I think it's great that we, as a crafting community, recognize that there are people suffering in the world, and we understand that, and we have not forgotten that. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do it in half. I don't want it to be, let's see. Hmm, that's nine inches. I'm going to take just some off. If I take a half an inch off each end, makes eight inches, makes halfway perfect. Okay, let's just do two of them. We'll do a little mini mass make. Shannon, my package is in the truck on the way to the post office right now. Tammy, get your butt in gear and send. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because you're probably going to be the one to win. But you need to get your entry in, girl. Do it. Um, I... 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 I now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I do not... I'm not overly prepared. I'm not one of those people that knows exactly how many pieces of paper and they're all cut to size and everything that I'm going to use in the project. I have piles around me. Trust me, I do. Um, because I don't want to get up too much, you know. But, there's, you know, you can't think of everything. That's not going to show, is it? Okay. Well, let's not do that then. Looking for what I want to use for a background because this could get a little messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'm loving using this crafting paper. I've used it for all kinds of things lately. Yeah, this will work great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I am going to tag Cindy Burkhalter in this. I have not contacted her. So she might say, Carol, I don't want to do your stupid tag or it. But I'm going to do it. So if you know Cindy, go over to her channel. I think that's the name of her channel, actually. I'm watching her on my TV. Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, Burkhalter. Cindy with a Y, Burke. Halter. Today she is doing, she got some pretty cool flat, uh, flags, uh, maps. She was going to use them in Traveler's Notebooks, but they're laminated. So now she's using them to craft on, do mixed media. That's cool, huh? Kim, your package is in the mail, dear. Thank you very much. I do have railroad paper still. So, it it won't last forever. I mean, I can make copies. I'm saving some to make copies. Shannon, if you want to make digis, go for it, girl. You don't need my permission, just do it. Just do what you want. <clears throat> I 
I have heard over over a whole time that I've been interested in junk journals and watching YouTube and all of that. Every once in a while, there'll be some boo ha ha about using somebody's ideas or something. I've heard Gail Augustinelli address the issue. Uh, honestly, everybody. Um, Andrea from Artie Mays, I've heard her address the issue. Um, every once in a while, it comes up. It's like it raises its ugly head. Um, and honestly, I'm of the opinion that not very much is new. Some things are tweaked and made your own. And that's really cool. But we're all sharing ideas. And, you know, if you're going to get butt hurt because somebody used your idea, you're probably a little too sensitive. So. And none of us are perfect. I don't know any of us that haven't said, I don't remember where I learned this. Or... I can't find the website or, you know, so I try. When I first started, this is just gesso. It's acrylic gesso, store-bought. I didn't make this. Could have, but I didn't. Yeah, we all, um, all learn from each other. You know, that's my take on it. There's been a few times when I thought I invented something. I thought I invented that center fold where you take a whole piece of paper and make it square and then fold it into a triangle and then take the little corners and tuck them into each other. I swore I invented that. I didn't. I don't know. Um, Honestly, how, I don't know. I mean, you, you just, yeah. We all share ideas. That's my point, I guess. I am really liking this stuff. This is a picket fence paper glaze. I got this on, I watched a video that they used it on, I think. And I got this on scrapbook.com. It's beautiful. Um, it has a really cool shimmer to it. I don't know how you're supposed to use it, so don't use me as a guide, but I'm kind of wanting to use it for texture and a little sheen. But I was thinking the other day, this would be really cool to paint some paper clips, you know, and things like that. And the, what are the big ones called? The clamp on? Yeah, that would be cool. Okay. I'm not going to use this, I guess. I thought I was, but I'm not, I guess. All right, so now I need some fabric, and I had I had a bunch right here, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. This is some pink silk. I've got this little bin that I've been collecting stuff. So let's see what I've got here. I like this. I like that. I love this. I'm keeping my eye open for some more of this. If any of you know what that is, I got it from Melody. Over at Melody Made. Melody, what is that? Let's use maybe some of that. Okay, girl, let's do it. Let's do that. This is that handmade paper. There's no wrong to this. I can't imagine that you could put anything on it that would ruin it. I've done a few of them off camera. They turned out super, super cute. Okay, 
Let's, that'll be good. Let's get started. I'm excited. I'm excited for a bunch of things. I'm really excited because I've got really good vibes about the, the giveaway that Shannon's doing. I want that. I want to win. So there you go. But I have not been very lucky lately. I tried to win the bingo the other night and I don't think I even Oh, I was that was I was late for the game. So I didn't get to watch. But I didn't win. <laughs> Bama. Bama dude. These are a little wider than the last ones. I'm going to have to take that into consideration. Actually, I like it hanging over just a little bit. And if you have seen the cover, you know that it's it's really um, raggedy, shabby, chicish, not grunge. So I'm not. This is already kind of tea dyed, but it's not. I'm not gonna distress it. So I'm having a hard time finding um, young channels under a thousand subbies. I need your help, guys. Who should I tag? Some that some people don't make journals or you know do this kind of work on their channels. So I feel like well, I don't want to you know tag them and. They don't have the supplies, or they don't know what they're doing, or they, you know, whatever. They don't feel like they want to do that on their channel. <clears throat> Where'd you come from? That's cute. Let's see. Again, I'm I'm not turning this into work. Uh, it's fun. I'm just I I'm just literally just putting it on the paper. I do like that crunchy or scrunchy, I should say. Scrunchy look. Okay, now I wonder if I could get, I just had a thought here. Had to cancel my nail appointment. It's all working out great though because I've been doing mixed media stuff and That would be a shame to have a brand new set of nails and ink them all up, but let's see what else, what else is going on? I watched the single life 90 day fiance single life I don't know what the title is they have so many offshoots of that show 
I can't keep it all together. I don't know one from the other anymore, but it looks like they've got some people. doing some dating. I don't know, it looks like a lot of work to me. <laughs> Glad I don't have to do it. Cause I don't know if I would. Hmm, any more paper? Do I want any more paper? Trying to cook a roast in my Ninja Foodie air fryer. Do any of you have one? I just turned it off so I could come up here because I didn't trust it. I don't think I know what I'm doing. Well, no, I, I absolutely don't know what I'm doing with it. I think I had the wrong lid on. I did manage to sear the roast. But after that, I I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to air fry it. I want it to cook slow all day. So, hail if you have a ninja foodie. Comment below, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me how I can do a slow cook in my Ninja Foodie. I have one of those um, pressure power XL things, and it's great for pressure cooking. I've used it to make a lot of jam, but when I try to cook slow cook in it, it, uh, it just gets lukewarm. It doesn't, I don't feel like it actually cooks. I think it's just warm enough to make you sick, you know? Like I wouldn't trust it with chicken. And I may be doing it wrong. But I don't want to do that with a ninja. So if you guys have one, let me know what, how you do slow cook. I guess what I'm making, I didn't realize it had a name. This is one of the examples of how, you know, most things have already been done. <laughs> Carol, you're just not that bright. <laughs> I thought I invented it. <laughs> well, I knew I didn't invent it, but I didn't realize it had a name. Um, just put a roast in the oven and then do it like you would any kind of Mexican meat, you know, with chili powder and cumin and oregano and garlic and onion and all that jazz. Yeah, I did not realize that that's actually called balbacoa. I didn't know that. Girlfriend of mine sent me a recipe. She said, you'd love this. You should try it. I make it all the time. I'm like, well, I make that all the time. I didn't know that had a name. <laughs> she goes, yeah, it's called bar barbacoa meat. I don't know. Okay, then. Looking for some dimension. That's why I'm kind of scrunching things up. I'm wanting some, want some lift. Oh, 
Oh, I have a correction announcement. Okay, so Shannon over at Mixed Media Minnesota is doing this fantastic giveaway. And not only are you going to get all the entries that she gets by mail, wrong one, but she's, I said yesterday that she was giving away digis. She's not, and I knew that, but anyway, she's not giving away digis. She's giving away her next one of her kits. I don't know which is better, but they're all fantastic, and I want to win so bad. Her kits, I've ordered her kits. I've ordered several. I can't remember how many, but if you have not ordered a kit from Shannon, honestly, you're missing out because... They're so fun. So fun. Um, can you see what is going on with my camera? Hold on. I've been playing with my camera. Hold on, guys. Because I've been playing with my holder because I want to use my new camera that I've had for months and now my holder is a little it doesn't tighten like I want and I think that's why it keeps slipping down This is going to turn into something, guys. Promise. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Oh, we got rain today. It's a perfect crafting day. And we have a carpenter coming to look at our basement. Oh, I can't wait. I'll have to show you guys. I'm going to put in, there's not going to be like a sink or anything down there. Mm, I think I have way too many of those. So I was trying to think of a, you know, creative way to utilize the space and be able to, like if we have friends over, I want to be able to pop popcorn and all that jazz and if we put a little barbecue outside, I want to be able to, I don't know, put, lay food out and stuff. So I've decided that in the hallway, there's this odd space that's indented in the hallway. I think they intended it to be like a linen closet of sorts. But I am going to have them stain the cement floor. And I'm going to make a little mini coffee bar. It won't have a sink. I thought I'd just put um, microwave. And do I have some more of that, please? A microwave and I'll just use have a water dispenser oh shoot I don't have any more I know I do yeah so I'll have a water dispenser and a microwave and something like a Keurig coffee maker so we can have hot chocolate if we're watching movies or whatever. And then we'll have the barbecue outside and uh, we may have to come up to the kitchen for things, but yeah. So I want them to do cement in the hallway and cement, uh, stain the cement. And then my husband's going to build a, uh, it'll look, like almost steampunkish. Um, it'll be a metal frame 
with big caster wheels and then the top will be a big cement block. I've been designing this in my head and I want it all in black and I already bought the lights because they were on sale. I bought two wall mounted railroad looking lights. They were actually at Home Depot and they were on sale, clearanced out. So it's probably something you'll never be able to get bulbs for or something, knowing my luck, but I bought them anyway. Yeah, they're black and then they have the cage around the light bulb and the light bulb looks like, you can see the filament inside the bulb. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm really excited. Ever since my husband and I have got married and bought our first house, I say we're slow flippers. <laughs> because there's never been a house that we've bought yet that we haven't done a big projects. And then we sell it. <laughs> not, it's not intentional, but we've just it just has so happened that we've moved. So it ends up being a flip house. <laughs> but it's fun. Okay, I'm getting kind of stuck in my work here. Yeah, and then I thought I would have him build me like almost like shiplap but up off the wall um, for the back to hang coffee mugs and have him bend me some old um, S-shaped hooks to hang things. I hate to cut that because it's such a nice square. I'm looking to see if I've got some that's already kind of there like that that's what I want this is a great way to use up all those little teeny pieces of lace that you saved because you love the lace and you don't want to throw it out here you go I think it's time for buttons. Let's do that. I love this button. I haven't been able to use it because it's dimensional. Maybe I can use it this time. Okay, do I have a needle? Oh, this is scary. I had a needle yesterday. Where did it go? Oh, jeez. Oh, that means the needle is... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Cool. You guys know me with stuff like this. It's just, you know, it's hard to watch. So if now's the time you need to go potty, go do that. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at trying to tie a bow. I'm okay if I have enough to make a great big bow. <laughs> I 
I don't think I'm going to tie a bow. I don't think it needs it. Cute. I don't know that it needed it though. I think I'll just put those on like they are. Okay, so let's put the needle up, Carol, so you know where it's at. I really like the buttons being on these little nests of string. I put my hummingbird feeders out. Do you all have your hummingbird feeders out yet? I haven't seen a hummingbird, but I'm hopeful. Oh, that might stick. Oh, that would be great. Let's put some of this on here. Where's the other piece? I just set it down. Where are you? Okay, it's lost. Let's go down here. Can you guys see? I appreciate all of the orders for the railroad papers. I, I have some left. I'm still shipping. There you are, you little stinker. Come here. These do get a little messy. Okay, let's say we add some beads in here. <clears throat> oh, let's add another button. Let's put a button right here. On the side. Let's put it on the fabric, because I want to put something right there. And we'll add this one right here. I think it goes like that. And if that string wants to stay there, I don't care. But it doesn't, so we'll move it. Okay, love these. Do they sell these at Dollar Tree? I don't remember where I got them. By the looks of the container, it looks like it was a clearance thing. But I've been using them a lot. I've had them forever. Oh, come on, you. Wow. 
how fine I don't want to play that game I was gonna sew this but I don't I've got some pretty good dimension going on and I don't want to smash it so I'm not gonna sew it really wet. Love it. I think I'll do one in pink and then I've got some white. I'll do one in white. I'm gonna have to have this. This must have some glue on it, but I've gotta have it undone. These are the kinds of things I hand to my husband and say, will you fix this for me? <laughs> he loves knots. Me, not so much. Dang, look at me on a roll. Not sure why that's kinked, but it's okay. Don't you love Fabri-Tac? Look at that. And it's stuck. That is stuck. I'm tired of messing with this, so I'm going to put some glue on it. Just tame it down a little bit. There you go. You can live like that. Now, I have this little piece that was flying around. Let's put it down somewhere. Hmm, I kind of like it right here. some white buttons. I don't see any in my pile. Okay, let's do white over here.
I don't like the ends dangling. I don't know why that is, but I don't like it. I like it curved or tucked or something. It sounds like the hubs is back. I can hear his truck. I think. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Okay. Ooh. Where's my other piece of lace? I really love that. Let's see if I have some more of that. I do. Well, I don't know if this is the same stuff, but it'll work. really interesting how this uh, book is evolving I like I said in the beginning I don't normally really make much ephemera prior to knowing the pages and all of that but I don't know this book I have been I think it's because it's so much fun It's fun having a theme. Shabby Chic is not always my gig. Um, I can appreciate it and uh, and I love doing it, but uh, this is a little, uh, how do I say it, cutesy. I guess for me you know that's not normally what I gravitate toward I normally am more grunge I will go back and glue tuck whatever needs to be as this progresses, you know. Just put it right here. Are you guys like me when you watch somebody do this you're like over there on the right there's a big hole <laughs> carol <laughs> you missed it <laughs> yeah 
I love this stuff. What This must be like, I don't know, is it eyelash stuff? I don't even know. I sure do like it though. So let's put some on there, girl. Let's put some on here. Let's loop it. Just because we can. So I'm going to go talk to the ninja guy. <laughs> ninja guy. Ninja foodie cooker when I get done here. And figure out what it needs for me to cook. Probably watch some YouTube. I watched a gal, don't remember her channel, but she cooked a roast. That's basically what I'm after. I'm just not gonna put all the veggies in there. Oh, you guys, look at that. I'm going to get some white buttons. They're right behind me. Hold on just one second, okay? Can't have just one, so I brought both. Both of my little jars. Well, I don't know how little that one is, but these are new. They're not vintage, but I really like them. And they said they had adhesive on the back. You know, maybe that white thing, maybe they're, I don't see any adhesive. I think they lie. These would be so cute in a seamstress journal. That seamstress journal that I did was so much fun. I really had a ball. Holy cow. Somebody's here. Oh, I gotta go guys. Looks like my carpenter is here. Okay. Let's all take care of each other. Bye, guys.